I don't do this often, but I am going to a trade show next week. And I've done this before. I went last year, which is part of the reason that I am making this video. If you are someone like me, a video editor who rarely goes outside of the house and definitely doesn't do any shooting, but now needs to do said shooting for a client at a relatively live event, I am making this video to discuss what I brought last year versus what I'm bringing this year. What do you really need to bring when Whenever you are doing social media content shooting. And how do you do all this while packing light? Because I am gonna be traveling. So let's just get into it. Now, let me preface this with what I'm gonna be doing at the trade show, because this video may not even apply to you if you are gonna be doing a large amount of high quality video for your client or whatever reason you're doing it for. I can't say that's particularly me in this case. The video will look fine, I guess, but it's all gonna be shot on my phone. So that's point number one. Will I take my camera that's, I'm using this right here? Yes, I will for my own personal reasons in case I wanna shoot anything while I'm there, but all of the client content will be shot on my phone. My phone is not anything special. It is an iPhone 13 mini, I think. Not the newest, not the oldest. And it's great for me because again, I don't shoot a lot. I'm not trying to buy top-notch equipment in order to go to this trade show and shoot one time a year for my client. And the videos are mainly going to be for things like TikTok and Instagram Reels. It doesn't need to be on more than anything than your phone. But that doesn't mean that we don't need any more equipment. Now, I was reflecting last year on what I brought versus what I'm bringing this year. And while, yes, I need to pack light and I don't need too much, I realized that I bought my equipment for the trade show probably like two weeks before I left. And it kind of showed. Again, I don't shoot a lot of content outside of being in my room shooting these YouTube YouTube videos. So when I panicked last year and thought you need to get a microphone because it's noisy at trade shows, you need to get a selfie stick and a ring light. I really just pulled the first thing off of Amazon and it worked fine. And let me show you what that is. It's currently holding my light over here. So it's going to get a little bit dark, but maybe I can hold it up. And it's literally just this. Got this off of Amazon, paid probably 20, 30 bucks. I don't know because it's currently unavailable. So I can't even show you the link. But I mean, this served me fine. It held my phone and it stood up kind of on its own. What more can you ask for? Now, in terms of a microphone, there was more that I could ask for because I did just grab a random wired microphone that could plug into my iPhone. So it needed a lightning cable. And while this is fine in an emergency situation, it really didn't go so well because if I held it like this and talked at a normal volume, it was totally distorted. And if I held it far away, it was all right, but not that much better than just the microphone on my iPhone. So I knew I needed to improve that definitely because I am going to be shooting people talking while I'm at the trade show. I'm going to need something better than that. One really important thing that I valued greatly in my time at the trade show last year was having a way to immediately pull footage off of my phone if needed. Because while I did just empty out my phone again in terms of any videos or photos that I could get rid of, there's still a lot on there. My whole life is on my phone. It's hard to just go ahead and empty it out. So actually, as of right now, I've only got about 20 gigs to work with, but that should be enough considering I'm taking short form content. However, in the case that it's not, this is a JD drive. It's got a USB port on one end and a lightning port on the other end. And it's literally just a mini hard drive for your phone. You can plug it right into your phone. It recognizes it, it pulls up the app, and then you pull off all of your footage that you need to pull off onto it, and then you're good to go. And you can plug it into your computer at the end of the day, which I will be doing. I'll link that one in the description because I do value this greatly. And if you are on the run a lot and you're shooting a lot of content, this comes in a lot of handy because it's a lot easier than needing to airdrop everything or pull everything off of your phone to send some way and then load it onto a hard drive, open up your laptop, the whole rigmarole. This makes it so much easier. And one thing that I didn't buy for the trade show, but I will be utilizing while I'm there is actually this little light. You've probably seen this light before. It is on a lot of YouTubers pages if they are recommending lights, but it is the Aperture Amaran MC Mini. And it's so cute how cute it is. It gets really, really bright and you can adjust both the brightness and the temperature. It charges via via USB-C to USB-A, and it's just ultra portable. And it even comes in its own little cute backpack. Cute. 
Anyways, I will be bringing this along just because the lighting can get a little funky sometimes at trade shows. Trade show lighting is not that great. So I will be using this as a supplement lighting and just having on hand just in case I need it. Hopefully I won't. Hopefully I won't have to pull it out because I like to say as portable as possible. But if I need it, it will be there and it will be so small, you won't even know it's there. Now, while I was on the search for an upgrade for my trade show equipment, it was honestly like, destiny. It was the luckiest timing. I'm looking at Movo microphones because I know Movo from buying past equipment. I have a couple things and they always have their logo or the word Movo on all of their equipment. So I always tend to remember it and it's a cute name. Not even two days later, I get a message from Movo and they are interested in helping me find the right kit for me, whether that be just a microphone, whether that be a full vlogging kit. So shout out to Movo. They were really awesome and honestly really generous because they helped to gift me this iVlogging kit. It's literally called the iVlogger and you can find it on Movo. This is perfect for me because it's an all-in-one system. It's got the full tripod that comes out. The phone holder is really sturdy and it's got a wireless light that you can charge when you're not using it. And it's got a microphone that perfectly plugs into my iPhone. I am so excited to test this out at the trade show. Let's test out the light. Hmm, pretty bright. And let's test out the audio. Testing on that audio. Testing, testing, testing. One thing I needed for this setup was I needed it to be able to turn vertically and still be, you know, not totally awkward. And that was one thing that was concerning to me, but I did it with this one. And even though it does stick out a lot, it's definitely doing the job that I needed to. And it's gonna be super helpful for me when I am on the run shooting a ton of content at this trade show. So thank you again to Movo. You guys are awesome. I will definitely be shopping there again because your products are great and your customer service is awesome. Overall. I'm excited to test out my new equipment and to test out my old equipment to see if it still stacks up. If you happen to shoot events, what would you recommend in terms of your equipment? I know that mine is pretty light, not taking a lot, nor do I like to spend a lot of money on my equipment because again, I don't shoot a lot. But if you have some recommendations on equipment for shooting outside of your home, definitely would love to hear your recommendations. This is much different than the kind of content that I normally shoot, but it's what's going on in my life. So if you like this, this video would love it if you would hit the like button below and hit subscribe if you haven't already thank you to my team again i am colleen and i will catch you guys in the next video have the best one